this, you know, real quick. Yes, sir. You see, I'm backed up by a God. I'm backed up by a God. I'm not a preacher that don't have backup. And as you call for your backup, I'll call for my backup. And you don't want to meet my backup. And as you call for your backup, I'll call for my backup. to give justice to those that are crying out for justice from you. You don't have a lot of time left, but let me just say this, you know, real quick. You see, I'm backed up by a God. I'm not a preacher that don't have backup. And as you call for your backup, I'll call for my backup. You see, I'm backed up by a God from you. You don't have a lot of time left, but let me just say this from you. You don't have a lot of time left, but let from you. You don't have a lot of time left, but let me just say this, you know, real quick. You see, I'm backed up by a God. I'm not a preacher that don't have backup. And as you call for your backup, I'll call for my backup. on the east coast and as the waters of the ocean rise curtailing America on her sides he will push the people in from all the coastlines into the center of the country what do you want I can warn you in the name of Almighty God Allah that he will take one of your cities and destroy it completely with an earthquake just to show you his anger and you better leave the people of God alone. One of your cities and destroy it completely with an earthquake just to show you his anger and you better leave the people of God alone. Reason Hamblin County keeps getting loud booms at all hours of the day. It felt like a tree falling beside the house. It was just like something fell, hit the ground, boom, and it shit. And it makes 11 quakes in just about the past 24 hours. Irving police say they have got hundreds of 911 calls from scared residents. They've also had reports of damaged homes and cracked walls. Yeah. Heard a loud boom and first call to 911. Bree? Well, calls flooded here into the dispatch center here at the Norman Police Department from people all over the area saying that they heard a loud boom and felt massive vibrations. Now, tonight, many people are wondering what exactly was that? Um, and it's nothing like that. It's not thunder or rock blasting or even fireworks, so what is it? Mysterious, unexplained booms rocking parts of North Georgia. Box Wide perils, specifically nuclear threats and climate change. Basically, the closer to midnight, the closer the world is to destruction.
Based on their observations, the members of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, Science and Security Board find conditions in the world to be so threatening that they are moving the hands of the doomsday clock two minutes closer to midnight. It is to midnight, continued existence of humanity. And world leaders have failed to act with the speed or on the scale required to protect citizens from potential catastrophe. We can manage our technology or become victims of it. The choice is ours and the clock is ticking. But as long as the clock is ticking, and the clock is ticking, and the clock is ticking. But as long as itself this weekend in the downtown area, I even tweeted about them to see if anybody else heard them. I understand you've been hearing them too. Yeah, I heard it too. The one I heard was just one loud singular boom. And I wasn't the only one, obviously. <laughs> you, me, and lots of folks here in Kennesaw. Last night, it was a night just like tonight, damp, dreary, and it was where it's coming from. And they ran in, they're like, Mommy, Mommy, what's wrong? Folks in Kennesaw say they... On you in the name of Almighty God, I, I can warn you in the name of Almighty God, Allah... <laughs> that he will take one of your cities and destroy it completely with an earthquake just to show you his anger and you better leave the people of God alone. Destroy it completely with an earthquake just to show you his anger and you better leave the people of God alone. Destroy it completely with an earthquake just to show you his anger and you better leave the people of God alone. But if it is forced on us, we too have to fight. But if it is forced on us, we too have to fight. But if it is forced on us, we too have to fight. And we should say, like the members of the Jewish community, after the Holocaust, never again. After the Holocaust, never again. I think we should let the world know that we're tired. We're not going to go out and do something stupid. Go ahead. I didn't give the order yet. That's right. who is being attacked has a person who is being attacked a person who is being attacked has the right to use that degree of force consonant with the force that is coming against him or her to repel that force if it is deadly force we are allowed to respond with deadly force yeah. Tell him to turn back to Mecca. By all the gods, I have not come this far to turn back. No, not until Muhammad is dead. When the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, found out we were no longer facing 30 armed escorts, but an entire army, he called for Shura, the council of his people. I guess I'm the last to speak. Whatever you choose, we will do. Then the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Go forward full of faith, for God has promised either the caravan or victory on the battlefield. Peace and blessing be upon him. Whatever you choose, 
we will do. Then the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Go forward full of faith, for God has promised either the caravan or victory on the battlefield. messenger of God no longer preaches in secret, I will not follow in secret. What is this? <laughs> no, no, don't tell me. My slave has become a Muslim. <laughs> you may own my body, but my soul... Let me guess. You think your soul is free. <laughs> no. My soul is also a slave, but not to you, to God. That's where you're wrong, Bilal. It all belongs to me. Everything you are, everything you think, everything. Say it. Deny Muhammad's words and say your soul belongs to me. Say it, Bilal. Say it. There is only one God. And Muhammad is his prophet. Let's see what you'll say under the last. Yes. One God. One God. Say I'm the owner of your soul, and I'll remove the stone. Say it. One God. Umaya, I come on behalf of Abu Bakr. He wants to buy this man from you. Name your price. A person who is being attacked has the right to use that degree of force consonant with the force that is coming against him or her to repel that force. If it is deadly force, we are allowed to respond with deadly force. Yeah. This is not man talking, this is what God has said. This is not man talking, this is what God has said. This is not man talking, this is what God has said. This nation. It's we killing each other. You make it easy for racist police to kill you because you are busy killing yourself. But if you stopped and became a community that respects the life of each other and became a community that respects the life of each other and will protect the life of each other and will protect your women and your girls and if an enemy of that peace comes in among us